We, we love Jeremiah 29 11 in church. If you're new to church, you better learn that one quick. Come on. Even the, even the, uh, the people who only come on Easter will quote Jeremiah 29 11 at you. For I know the plans I have for you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord. So if he's saying, I know the plans I have for you, what does that imply? You don't. I'm sorry, y'all. This is the message God gave me. You're going to have to talk to the supervisor. He said to tell you to make sure if you quote Jeremiah 29 11, at least do the courtesy of reading verses 12 and 13. Okay? I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, yes, Lord. You remember that one? That's a youth group anthem. But he said, and then you will call on me, and I will answer you, and you will seek me, and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. And what's interesting about that is he said, seek me. But we don't like the verse that's about him. We like the verse that's about his plan. Because I am addicted to my plans, because I am a control freak by nature. And the second yes says, do you trust the person even when you don't like the plan? That's the second yes. And if God promised to hold the hand of Messiah when he walked on the earth, you can be sure that he holds the hands of the Messiah's disciples. So let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely on his God. Let him do that. Not trust in what he can see. God will take away your feeling. He will even take away the sense of his love from you. He will sometimes leave you and it seems completely barren. Why is he doing it? That you learn to trust in the nature, the character, the word of your God. Now here's the question. Do you trust the person even when you don't like the plan? Because I did not say yes to my understanding of God's plan. I said yes to God. And the second yes, the second yes is not just to the blessing. The second yes is to believing that God is working even when his presence is hard to discern. Who is this message for today? You're on the second yes. You're, you're, not, you're not on the first yes. Here's the first yes. The first yes is immature. The first yes is yes, except, or yes, unless. Okay? You know, yes, God, I will do everything you want me to do. Ex. Ex. That turned the other cheek crap? I'm not soft like that. I wasn't raised like that. So, yes, Lord, to the, to the other part, or you know where you really see it? in the areas of greatest conviction and in the areas that go against the grain of what has been culturally embedded in us. The first yes is the stuff that we want God to change about us. The second yes, the, sec the first yes is, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. The second yes is, I'm going to Jerusalem to die and this ends on a cross. The second yes. I don't know if I don't know if you're ready for the second yes. Faith is what makes grace accessible. It is believing that God is with you. It is believing that God is for you. It is believing that God is enough because God's yes is settled. Your yes will be tested. But I need you to understand this last point. Your yes is connected. Your yes is connected to God's yes. Not that we earn his love or our obedience curries his favor. God is not a man like that. But when you put yourself in a position where you say yes to God, you have no idea what is connected to your yes. And sometimes when you're really fighting to trust God, you're not even actually fighting for you. You're fighting for your children and your children's children. 
Let me ask you a question. Aren't you glad Jesus said yes to the cross? That's why you got saved. That's why you got healed. That's why you got redeemed. Because he said yes. Yes. Say it, yes. Say it with defiance, yes. I'm hurting, but yes. I'm confused, but yes. I don't know the way out, but yes. It doesn't make sense on paper, but yes. I'm still in a depression right now, but yes. I still believe in freedom, even though I'm dealing with the addiction. Yes. Say yes. Say yes till the devil has no choice but to believe you. Convince yourself in your spirit. Press past your flesh and say yes from your spirit. Yes.